Hi, it's uh, Porik here from Elitutes, and today we are playing some Elite Dangerous. I'm going to be doing a little bit of bounty hunting. Um, I'll, it'll be a relatively short video. Um, just want to see what people think. If you, if you want to see more Elite Dangerous video or content, or tutorials, etc., then uh, leave a like or comment. So, we're in Serbroth, and I think that's only about five jumps out from where you start. Uh, myself and a friend of mine have been playing co-op, uh, doing bounty hunting and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to double check that we're ready to go, and then once we are, we're going to undock, launch, and I'll show you some bounty hunting, and you can see if it's maybe something you'd like to do. So we're going into Starport Services. Okay, so restock, repair, refuel, all good. And I'm going to check what weapons I have because I changed them last time. So I've got multi cannon in the big and beam laser in the small. I'm just wondering would beam laser be better in the big? Take the shields down quicker. Okay, never mind. That'll do. But that's basically, I'll give you a quick overlook of my layout. I have uh, two F multi cannons, two of those and two 1E beam lasers. The lasers take down the shields and the multi cannons for the hull. So in core internal, I have 1A military grade composite bulkheads, uh, 3B power plant, which is uh, 11, whatever MW is, milliwatts, megawatts, I don't know. Uh, I have 3C thrusters, standard frame shift drive, standard life support. Uh, I've got a 3A power distributor. Uh, it's pretty expensive, but I need it for the power. Uh, I've got standard sensors, I believe, fuel tank, and I've got a 2D shield uh, cell bank. So in utility mounts, I've got a chaff launcher, which is a defensive thing used to try and get stop people from locking you. And I've got a point defense as well, which is similarly a defensive uh, thing that tries to kill rockets, whatever as well. Um, so no, I skipped one. So, I've showed you this one as well. Okay. Optional internal, I've got a 3D holy enforcement package. I've got the bi-weave shield generator because as far as I've heard, they recharge quicker. Or they start to recharge quicker or something. Uh, standard docking computer, yeah, after banging off holes of <laughs> stations and stuff for a while, I decided to put that in. Uh, just that, you know... It's nice to relax when you've been out bounty hunting and you have a couple of hundred thousand of bounties to collect. It's nice to know once you hit the station and you activate that, you can just walk away. So, it's re really why I have that there. Uh, basic discovery scanner and, yeah, that there. Um, I just have the trade, mostly penance and combat, mostly harmless, which I come up to novice now. But, anyway, that's that. Okay. So basically I'm in a Viper Mark III, as you can see up here, and uh, I've been fitting it out to do minimum amount of kind of uh, tankiness and maximum amount of both speed and, you know, maneuverability and that kind of thing as well. So I think uh, the ship is restrictive in the sense that, you know, there's only so much you can do. So next ship, the next target ship I want to get is a Vulture. But anyway, enough chatting, let's get out there. So I'm going to go... Launch. Um, while I do that, I'm just going to get a... Oh, joystick not centered. I'm going to bring my... And gear up and get this weird view away. Right, hang on. There we go. Right, so when you're on docking, you head for the green side, and when you're docking, you head for the green side. Um, so I'm gonna put some speed on. I hate this bit. I wish there was an undocking computer. down or go fast that's an Irish expression I believe I 
and then we are going to we don't have any uh, res sites here so we're going to go to the nav beacon we're going to unlock the destination oh did I set up my fire groups just let me check ok that's fine alright so if you see the compass beside the main scanner on the bottom you'll see the compass that looks like a like a uh, crosshair what we're trying to do is align the dot that we've locked and then it'll show us where it is in space um, by the way if that dot is hollow it means it's behind you if it's solid it means it's in front of you so there's a little tip for you alright let's jump okay I'm putting all power to engines just to help get us there a little bit quicker So basically we are in warp at the moment, but warp isn't like, for example, our super cruise, warp isn't like EVE where you kind of lock on and, and, you know, go directly to it. You kind of have to slowly come out of uh, warp. So basically how it works is, you know, once you get near the target that you're going to, unless it's another system, then it's directly there, but if you're going to it, something inside the system, um, you basically get to when it's about nine. Well, generally that's what I do. Wait till it's about nine seconds away, um, and then I start to reduce power. Well, not not start at that point. You should have reduced power. And when it gets about nine seconds, you'll see the bar, the top bar on the left, uh, underneath where it says nav beacon. Um, that will start to, the bar will start to go from right to left, indicating that your the distance is uh, is right, and then. Uh, you wait till the lines are on both of them, and then Bob's your uncle. It's just a wait game then to uh, get to the actual nav beacon, and then you disengage your warp or your super cruise, whatever it's called, um, and you're there. At first, I was uh, didn't like the system at all, and in actual fact, I I kind of I put me off the game so much it was really, you know, oh, that's six seconds. I need to slow down. We go if you hold around nine seconds I've found. And you see the bars now are starting to head towards the left where the blue bit is. If you go too fast, I don't know it, it, it'll basically the gravity or whatever it is will pull you past and you'll go flying past it, so make sure you keep it at about nine. And you'll find then that you don't go too uh you don't go too fast. Now this this is just me telling you this. This is not like some standard way of doing it. I'm just telling you that the way I found works for me uh, to make it easier and less stressful they're trying to do this. Alright so the bottom bar is lined up. You can see it's turned blue. We're just waiting for the distance one to line up now as well. And once that lines up we'll get a message up saying safe to, dis uh, to stop. Here we go. You press J in the keyboard, and then we're coming out of warp. And once we get the nav beacon, I'm going to kill power and stop a second and talk about what's going on. Alright, so for people who haven't done bounty hunting before or haven't even got the game and they want to see what's you know what's it like, basically all these. If you look at the scanner, you see ones that are in lines gone above you. In 3D space, that means they are above you. If the lines going down then it means they're below you. So basically, if you take this guy in front of me now, if I power up, and get his line so as it matches where the, it meets the radar, there he is. And it's essentially that simple. You're going to be scanned by police to make sure you don't have illegal cargo, that you're not wanted, so just don't worry about that. I'm going to scan this guy, press T to scan. He's a novice. And he's clean. If they're clean, you don't attack. Only if they're wanted to the attack. So I'm gonna head back around towards the nav beacon. Now I know there are targets here I could scan. I know that, but I just wanted to talk a second. So basically, uh, at the nav beacon, you will find ships here that are wanted. You have to be really careful. 
to make sure that if you're attacking the ship that you're not hitting any other ships near it if if you kill let's say for example you're you're that nearly have that ship that you're attacking dead and it's on the last little few you know inches of hull whatever if you mistakenly hit any other ship and even people who are in your wing if you hit them literally the police will engage you straight away you become wanted and the police will start to attack so you have to make sure be very careful about what shot you take have have extreme situational awareness about where the cops are um, you know err on the side of caution if for example you're going into a system to do this you know if you think there's a chance your your shots are gonna hit something else just don't do it um, maneuver yourself into a better position where there's nothing else on the screen or you know where you know you're not gonna hit anybody else and take the shot it's not worth losing your ship especially you know starting off it's not too bad but later on like at the moment my ship is gonna cost near a hundred thousand to replace um, and that's minus money and I'm trying to make plus money I'm trying to get a you know steady stream of money going to upgrade the next ship so just be careful of that the next thing what you do is just go around to the orange dots and line them up in the center there's one there he's a novice and he's clean so you can see on the bottom left it tells me his ship is an eagle his name is Alexandre Bersano a novice clean and he's with the people Jakob Boogie's liberals hope I said that right um, so yeah there, that's how you get the information on the ships so I'm pressing this that's a federal agent don't want to be doing that to him I'm trying to get this guy in the middle he's a fed as well so we're going to I think we're going to go back to the beacon and wait for someone to warp in and there's a very clear way of waiting for seeing when somebody warps in Oh, are your lasers? Yeah, I see lasers over here. What's going on? Oh, they're attacking him. Cobra, novice. I'm gonna get the guns out. He's clean. What the heck? Why are they attacking him? Oh, they're attacking him. Yep, they're attacking him. So let's engage. I'm going in with the lasers to help get the shields down. And then... I'm going to wait till this chaff runs out. Power up. Okay, he's chaffed, so there's no point in trying to engage. There's too many ships nearby. I'm afraid I'm gonna get closer because I don't know uh, get anyone else by mistake. That's not him, nearly made that mistake. The shields are online, he's done. He's done, there we go. And there we go. For for attacking a ship that the cops were already attacking, I just made 33,765 credits. Now, in a situation where you're parked at the nav beacon and you're just paying attention to what's going on around you um, there's a there's a friend of mine I call up with called Sweeney uh, he's really good at this he's really good at cop copping on to when the cops are attacking or when they're about to attack that kind of thing so you know you have to kind of train your ears and train your you know situational awareness to keep an eye not just on targets that are possible but also what else is going on in the area because as I said you know you come across a big ship that the police are attacking, you know, help attack it, and you're going to make a massive bounty. I'm going to try and go for a one-on-one -on -one with a ship that's, uh, that's here. Is that a fed? Okay. That's a fed. 
bed. There we go, she's clean. So, nope, he lets him just come in. Now that's one that's just come in, did you hear that? There we go, so we're gonna give them a scan, the sidewinder. They're wanted. So here we go. Now he's in a, a wing, and I want to see what the other ship is. It's a Cobra Mark III, so I'm going to engage this first if it's wanted. Here we go. Let's go. I'm going to put all power to weapons. Passing out the Sidewinder. I'm going to go in with the lasers to get the shields down, so that's what they're good for, and then with, in with the multi-cannon once the shields are down. Jeez, I'm finding it hard to catch up with this guy. Come on. There we go, I've killed power just so the, uh... I know he's going to attack me, but I'm going to fire some chaff. My shields are offline. So, there he is. He's red now because he's a target. I'm going in with the guns. And a bit of laser as well, just for damage. Okay, I'm switching some points out the system to try and get my shields recharged. Remember, I've got two targets shooting me, so... Firing out some chaff. Alright, cops are engaged now, that's good. Try and get him down as quick as possible. Bringing things back to weapons. Here we go. Where's the sidewinder? Where did the sidewinder go? Is he already popped? Here's a cobra, that's a fit. Alright, that's it then. So I'm gonna head back towards the nav beacon. See, I'm 14k out, and I don't like to be that far out because. You're missing on ships that are just coming in. But as you can see, uh, was, that was a nice fight. Um, not to worry about the Sidewinder, because it's a very small ship. Um, and I'm going to slow down here. Put my weapons away. Okay, now this is the best way. If you... Let's say you're in a small ship and you can't attack other ships. This is the best way to do it. If you come here, come to the nav beacon. About 5k away, I think, is just about right. And then just kill your power. And you'll be able to hear shots being fired. And, you know, keep an eye on your scanner and try and detect when, you know, the cops are all bunching up to try and attack somebody and get involved in that. But for, for basic bounty hunting, that that's what me and, as I said, Sweeney do. We basically come to the nav beacon and you know engage the ships that are wanted you know at this stage we're competent enough to kind of you know get into fights like you one just saw um even though there's two ships attacking i knew that as the second the cops hit the side one there um it would pop because it's a very small ship um and then it was just a cobra to engage and as i said i had fired shaft and i had put points back in system um to help the shields recharge quicker I uh, wasn't too worried there at all, to be honest with you. Uh, so, that's the set. That's basically bounty hunting. Now, if I go to my left screen, and I go to transactions, uh, I've made, altogether, just in the few few minutes since I've been doing this, I've made uh, 60,177 credits. And as I said, that that's for what work? For, for taking down maybe two or three ships, and that's it. So I'm not going to at this point now to get to collect the bounty. You go back to the station, and you go to contracts, um, or contacts. 
I think, and you collect the bounty there. I'm not going to do that in this video because, to be quite honest with you, it, it's going to take too long, and I want to stay out bounty hunting while I'm here. So, yeah, um, if you want any more Elite Dangerous videos, feel free to leave a comment um, or give it a thumbs up, and I will be sure to do more. As you can see, look straight ahead. Look as I was talking there. Lasers. That's the cops attacking somebody, so... That's again, you could, uh, you know, get into that. Probably too late to get out there. Yeah, no. Oh. Anaconda? Is he wanted? Nope. Unfortunately. Oh, it's this guy. And a cobra. Alright, let's do this. Guns back out. Oh, he's gone. Uh, it's too late. But yeah, as I said, basically, even if you've got a small ship, you can come out here and do this. Because once the cops are engaged in something, you know, he's not going to focus on you. And if he does, just, you know, put all your pips into the system and uh, boost away, you know, try and outmaneuver them. Um, one thing about this game that, that, you know, you have to understand is maneuvering does make a difference. Me and Sweeney were, were fighting a wanted ship yesterday, and it was a small ship. Um, but the ship was so maneuverable. Um, and you had to be so close to lock it that it took us forever. And I think at the end he, he was able to jump out. So, yeah, it's it's not just about, you know, p putting a tank on and attacking. You know, you kind of have to work on your maneuverability, work on your tactics, defensive and, you know, offensive. Um, and kind of remember in your 3D space, use your vertical, you know, up down and up as well so you have your or on the keyboard your or and your f you know use that as well they're quite handy for getting onto targets quicker um so you can press or to go up and you start climbing vertically and then you can press f to go down again remember all these things when you're you know when you're being attacked or you're attacking someone else anyway as I said uh, I'm playing a lot of Elite Dangerous um, and uh, I'll be playing some LSPDF4 as well so uh, if you like those you know let me know and I'll do more um, I, I am open to doing an Elite Dangerous tutorial but just not yet um, I need, there's a lot more about the game I need to understand before I you know, feel comfortable doing a tutorial. But as simple things and in, in Elite Dangerous, more than happy to explain or to try and help figure out. Anyway, this is Pori from Attitudes. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.